and happy Tuesday. So I did get my last week's vlog up last night. It, came, it went out really, really late, so I'm sorry about that. Um, and yes, I am wearing the same jumper again. One, because it's really comfy. And two, because I forgot that all the mum and baby group were coming today in Christmas jumpers because um, we sort of wanted to start the Christmas season off. Um, and as it was just on my chair this morning, I just put it back on. So um, I just love this jumper. Anyway, so it's mum and baby club. And then I've got a few bits to do and finish. And then I have like the, I go home like mid afternoon and then I have the rest of the day off. Um, so I've got a few errands to do this afternoon, but I'm just gonna crack on. I've made a total mess in here, but I've been donated loads and loads of fabric for the kids' workshop, so I need to go through that. I've got a magazine commission to finish, um, and I need to organize all the supplies for my workshops at the Thirsty Bird um, next week. So I've got to do that as well. So I've got a Christmas jumper workshop and I've got felt decorations to sort out. So I need to crack on with those. So I've got lots to do before I go. Okay, so I know some of you are really interested in different techniques that I use to make things a lot easier. Um, if you read a lot of my projects in Cross Beautiful magazine, you'll know that I use a lot of Bondaweb, which I showed you not last week's vlog, but the vlog before. Um, and I also use the Violin medium weight iron-on interfacing. Now, I just find that this is the easiest way to create stability in all the fabrics. Medium weight is the one that I use most. It's just, it's not too heavy, it's not too light. Um, it also makes cutting things out a lot easier um, and it stops fabrics from fraying. So at the moment I'm doing a commission where I need loads of squares. So I've cut these out of my iron-on interfacing first and then I iron them onto the fabrics and I just cut along the edge and then the glue is sealed right to the edge of the interfacing so that it's joined onto the fabric. Now you can trace different things onto iron-on interfacing as well because it's see-through, so it's really easy to trace. So I do this a lot with different letters and things or bunting, um, and if you have any thin fabrics, like this one in particular, it's a cotton poplin that I'm using, um, but it is quite thin. So iron-on interfacing makes it a lot easier to cut and a lot easier to sew with. And then also you don't have to finish the edges because the glue is right to the edge, so it just makes things a lot quicker and easier. Right everybody, so it's half two, and I was supposed to leave at two, but I just got carried away. So I'm gonna go home now, and do some errands, and like, we'll tidy up my house and do some laundry, because I've only been home on Sunday this week, so it's been a bit manic. Never mind, I'm going home now and I'm gonna chill, and then I'll be back tomorrow afternoon for one of my late nights again, so I'm looking forward to that. Hello everybody, so it's Wednesday afternoon, um, and I've got another later working day today, so I've got a sew session tonight, um, and I've got three ladies coming for a sew session tonight, and I've got after school club in about an hour or so, so I'm just gonna finish, do some more work on the commission that I've been working on, and then I need to prep for a few things before after school club. So I'm gonna crack on with that now.
Okay, so it's now, I don't know, like quarter to nine and I need to go home because I'm starving hungry. There's only so many biscuits that I can eat. <laughs> um, but I had a really good sew session. There was three of us, well, four of us tonight. Um, one lady making stockings for her family. Um, I've got Lottie making a Cleo pinafore dress. Um, and her mum's making a Sapporo coat in this gorgeous like camel melt and that we've got downstairs. Um, so yeah, I've had like a really, really good time. So I'm happy, I'm really happy. Anyway, um, today I'm wearing my um, blue toaster sweater and underneath I've got a Frankie, a Tilly the Button stretch book Frankie. Um, this blue fabric was from MinervaCrafts.com um, and it's like the, I think it's called like mohair, faux mohair knit fabric, um, it's still on there. Um, and these are jerseys from Cotton & Co. Um, and they're really nice actually, really nice. And I love this like navy with like little pink flowers over it. So I did that around the neckband as well. Um, but yeah, I love a Frankie. They're just so easy to layer up. So yeah, right. I'm gonna go home. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday, which means it's my TV night. Oh God. Anyway, I need to go. I'm waffling. Good night. Hello, everybody. So it's, I was gonna say it's Friday, but it's not, it's Thursday. Today is the day that we shut up shop early because I'm gonna be on Kirstie's Hammer Christmas. So I'm both equally excited and nervous, but I'm sure it'll be really, really fun. So I'm just gonna do, I'm, I was actually late today because I had to stay at home and wait for a delivery. So I've only got a few hours until we go again. So mum's just made me a cup of tea and I'm just gonna finish a commission, start on a secret project. Um, mum, I'm gonna make you cut out my dress, if she has time, and yeah. I've got quite a lot to do, but it'll be fine. We're gonna go and all watch the show together at five. Okay, everybody, so it's now 4 p.m. and we're gonna close up the shop and head to my house to watch Kirstie's Hammer Christmas with my family and, and a couple of friends. So I'm quite excited about that, actually. Um, although I am still a bit scared about it. It'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Anyway, we've gotta rush off now because we need to go. Otherwise, we're gonna miss the beginning. And I don't know where I appear in the show because I haven't seen it. So we're gonna go. Okay, so it's three minutes to five and I am getting very, very nervous now. Mum and my sister B and Hugh is here. We're just waiting for everyone else because um, we're going to watch it on catch up as well afterwards. I'm not going to watch it twice, but right. Okay. Right, we better go. Come on. So it's Friday morning. I'm just waiting for a few people to come for Stitch and Bitch this morning. Um, where we, it's just a open sewing room so people can do whatever projects they like and have a chat and a cup of tea. Um, so I'm just waiting to see if anyone comes. I think, I know for definite one of my customers is coming. Um, I just feel like it's been a total whirlwind. Back to reality this morning though, because it was chucking it down with rain and I had to take the dog for a walk and it was just so I'm still damp from my walk this morning that's how wet it was it was, it was horrible um but I just want to thank you to those of you who have been messaging me and emailing me um thank you like it, it, it has been absolutely crazy um and 
the weird thing is it's like all over now which is madness anyway I had an amazing experience being on the program and I made some really amazing friends at the same time so it's just made my Christmas so thank you again for all being so supportive and watching the show and yeah thank you let's get on with Friday back to normality now <laughs> and here she be my stocking from the show and that's the back oh there's a little stain on there oh no that would have been a spider or something wouldn't it anyway there it is in all its glory So Stitch and Bitch has finished now, um, I only had one lady today, um, which was nice actually because we both got quite a lot done and we were both just chatting to each other. Um, I just thought I would show you what I'm doing and talk about another product that I think you might find useful that I got sent. So Visaline or someone commented and told me how to say it and I've already forgotten it. Lysaline? Lysaline? Anyway, they sent me another product. <laughs> um, it's this iron-on seam tape, um, flexible iron-on seam tape. Now, I've never really used anything like this, um, so I thought while I'm making a Tilly in the Buttons cocoa, um, I would show you what I did with it. Um, it's the first time I've ever used it, but basically it's comes well this one I don't know if they do smaller packets as well but this one's in a reel and it's like really thin narrow ribbon tape um, which has glue on one side and it is cut on the bias so it's like got a bit of give in it um, and I don't know if you've done a cocoa pattern before or a few of Tilly's stretch patterns you know when you're doing jersey tops anyway you put like a ribbon or something on the shoulder seams and then you sort of stay stitch around the neckline to stop it from stretching out or moving. And um, that's what I use this for because it's stays tape, it's seam tape and it just, it's still got flexibility in it but it keeps it like neat and it doesn't overstretch. So I basically ironed it to the shoulder seams um, like when you put a piece of ribbon in. Um, before I overlocked them um, and it worked really really well and then I did the same thing um, around the neckline instead of doing stay stitching um, and I've just realised that now that I'm I just bonder webbed the, the neckline down before I sew it and I've just realised that I've made like a massive pucker in it oh poop ok I'm just going to iron that but anyway um, it worked really really well so it still has a bit of give in it so it's not like totally rigid um, but I was quite impressed with how easy it was to use so yeah I liked it a lot I did uh, I hate it when I oh I think it's alright obviously I wasn't paying attention on that little bit and it's just oh, typical me anyway there we go, sort it out. So I've just um, bond webbed the neckline down. Um, I say bond web, you know, like hem tape. Um, so I've done that and I'm just gonna carry on sewing it. So it's been a good, good Friday so far. Good morning, it's Saturday today and I didn't finish yesterday's vlog. I'm very, very sorry. Um, basically, I'm in today because I'm working, <laughs> um, and I've got 
um, a Brussels sprouts workshop with the kids this morning, and then we've got a needle felting Tomty workshop um, this afternoon. So Mum and I are both going to be here all day, helping out and doing different things. Um, and our lovely needle felting teacher Sam's coming in. Um, and it's one of my friends who's actually coming to the Tomty workshop. It's her birthday today, so we're going to have like a little little crafty celebration. Um, so we're going to have mulled wine and mince pies and things like that. Um, I've got the Christmas music on the background ready. I've got the Christmas jumper on. Um, this is my other Nora, my Tilly Buttons Nora jumper um, with happy fabric um, vinyl light bulbs on. Very pleased with it. And I just machine embroidered all the, all the cords on top. So quite proud of this jumper really. And I've got my fluffy tassel earrings in. Um, because one, they were just colourful and I like them. And two, because I thought they looked a tiny bit like Christmas trees, pink Christmas trees. So yeah, and the sun's out, it's not raining today, that's even better. So I'm just waiting for mum to arrive um, and I'm gonna set up downstairs. So I'm gonna take you down with me so you can watch the setup take place. I've already had one of my customers in this morning who didn't realize we didn't open till 10, but it's like 20 past nine. And she was there like, hi. And she's like, oh my God, you don't open till 10. I was like, it's fine. So I've already made a few sales this morning um, before we'd even opened. So great day. And I had a phone call from someone about um, having some sewing lessons. Amazing morning. Happy Saturday, everyone. Saturday in the workshop done. We had a really fun morning making Brussels sprouts for the kids and then we had a really really fun Tom Tomty workshop um, with all the mulled wine and mince pies. Um, so mum and I are just going to close up now and go home because it's like half four I think. Maybe five. I don't know what time it is. So I will see you next week. I might do something else next week. I'll have a look at my schedule and see what's going on but I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it um, comment below with anything any questions or things you want me to see and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next week happy handmade everyone mm -hmm.